Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 2014 set 2 guys. Okay, so the question is the number of distinct minimum span increase for the weighted graph below. So basically for this graph, how many minimum span increase we can draw, they are asking. So first of all, before understanding the logic, so let us first of all assume what are the minimum values here guys. So we are having 1 and 2 are the minimum values, right? So if you recall, what is the thing guys? So you will start at minimum value, right? So basically this one will be taken mandatorily. Similarly, this one will be taken mandatorily. Similarly, this one will be taken mandatorily. Similarly, this one will be taken mandatorily, right? Yes. Similarly, this one will also be taken mandatorily, right? Yes. So now we are having only options for two, right? Yes. And one more thing which you can observe is uh, this two cannot be taken because it will form a loop. Okay. Yes. Similarly, this two can also can also not be taken because that will also form a loop, right? Yes. So among these three, I can take any one. Okay. Similarly, I should take this because I want to build a spanning tree means uh, this path should be there because it is the bridge of the tree, right? Yes. Even here the cost is a 10,000 or 1 lakh also I should take it, right? Yes. So now we are having various options guys. So the first option is, uh, okay, I can take this one, then I can take this one, then I can take this one. Okay. So here I am having three different options. Uh, okay. And here again I am having two options. Okay. So in total, how many options you are having guys? So that is indirectly 3 into 2, right? Yes. So among these 3, I can take any one. And in this 2, I can take any one. So here indirectly we are having 3 options. So if I take this one, sir. Okay. So for this one, I can take this one and this one. So here I have 2 options indirectly. So here also I will be having 2 options indirectly. Here also I will have 2 options indirectly. So the total result will be 6. So in total, you are having 6 different options. Got it? So most of you will be saying that no, 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 we did not got the clear idea. Okay. So for easy understanding, let us give this number one. So for this a two, for this a three and for this a four, for this a five. So among one, two and three, I should take one. Similarly from four and five, I should take one. Okay. So if I take from one from here, I can take four there. If I take one from here, I can take five there. Similarly, if I take two here, I can take four. If I take two here, I can take five. Similarly, if I take 3, I can take 4. If I take 3, if I take, I can take 4, 5. So basically, in total, there are 6 different pairs, guys. So that is the question, okay? Yes. So now you got a clear idea, right? Yes. So in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.